Hi guys, and welcome to uh, another edition of Pro Hire Truck TV. And we're back this week on the road, looking at something which has been an icon for the van world for the last 20 years or so, the Mercedes Sprinter. This time, and we're looking at the E Sprinter. 12 months ago, we looked at the E Sprinter with a smaller battery, and they've now brought out the larger battery model, which is a 47 kilowatt hour pack. Um, it's still there, it's better than the 38 kilowatt, and I think there's some way to go with that. But this is a bit special as well because it's fully temperature controlled and thermic control in the way that will give you minus 18 apparently, run separately from the powertrain. So it's going to give you a good run today. We're going to go out in it, we're going to show, show you around in it and really give you a feel for, for the mileage. And for those that can see the van's perhaps been through a little bit already, um, I picked the van up with the 90 miles on the clocker range. Um, we're currently at 68. Um, I want to see how far I can actually make this van go with the range that we've got and what temperature I can pull in that time. Let's have a look around the van and see what we've got to work with. As you, as you can probably imagine, it's, it's, it's a similar format to the, the, the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter that you see pretty much on every road today. Um, except this has got a cool kit line out. So Rupert and his team have done an amazing job lining out something here, which is a, a fairly standard frozen spec line out. Well, let's be honest, it's a great quality line out and it will change the way that you can operate with an electric van. This van's switched off at the moment, fridge is running, so you can still do your um, deliveries while the fridge is still operating. Now, again, you know, not a great deal to look at, but it's a big van, you know, um, for urban delivery, temperature control, very good. Urban delivery, temperature control, and minus 18, you know, really good as well. The battery packs on this are separate to the drivetrain, protecting the, the 90 miles that you have to be able to operate your van today. For me, great for very in-town, urban delivery, clean air zones, all of those uh, things that are coming down to haunt us in the next year or two. So, batteries themselves are charged separately to, to the vehicle, so you've got two charging points to make. And so this is, the fridge is powered and it's a Hubbard fridge unit, by the way, um, and a really nicely con contained unit, I have to say. By three um, lithium ion batteries under the seat. Um, they're 12 volt, 8 volt batteries running on 12 volt, it's a 12 volt battery, 12 volt fridge. Um, 200 amp hour batteries joined together to give enough power to operate this unit. Now, this, this, these batteries are charged, as I say, separately using a separate cable, um, which we can see on the other side of the, of the van takes about six hours to charge so not dissimilar to your uh, your van I'm guessing so look at that plug that in and then you'll be able to charge your vehicle and also operate it on on um, overnight standby or as it used to be called in the old days um, and, and of course with electric vehicles it will definitely be an overnight standby so inside the cab we've got a power drain on it so we're, we're saying that this vehicle will do around six hours worth of um, six hours worth of, of delivery um, on the fridge and the batteries that it's currently got operating with it. They're also telling it'll do minus 18. We've yet to see that, of course, but we'll, we'll, we'll report back on that shortly. So, this vehicle, capable of onboarding at seven kilowatts and up to 80 kilowatts DC. So seven kilowatt AC and up to 80 kilowatts DC. Of course, having a DC charger is, is prerequisite to making that work. And we'll show you how to put this in at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the video when we get back and, and see what charge we've got left after our, our short interlude on the road. So, um, here we are inside, inside the cabin, of course. <laughs> It's not only reminiscent of, of, of the new Sprinter, of course it is a new Sprinter and, and it's got everything that hopefully you'd expect to find in, in, in a really quality van and of course you know Mercedes make, make some great products and this is by um, no exception in, in, in that field. Of course like with, when we come to electric vehicles it's, it's going to be very much tailor made around you, the, the, you know, the, the diesel version of this is, 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 is an outstanding vehicle. Um, and, and I'm not saying this isn't, of course it is, and be well made with it being German. But if you look up quickly around the, the cockpit, you know, it's pretty, like in most German vehicles, there's uh, everything you need and nothing you don't need. Um, so seat belt on, let's put this into motion and the vehicle is, is powering up, thinking about it, and there we go. This is your fridge unit, so this is the, um, the electric Hobbit or Zanotti, um, as, as, as we've come to know today. 
this this I'm being told will do minus 18 over when I got in the vehicle um, it was set to zero I've set it to minus 20 to see what to what will happen we're currently on 7.1 degrees um, I guess uh, at the end of our journey as we go further forward it will be um, what it will be when I pulled up before just to have a quick look around the vehicle it was showing 68 miles parking up has given me an extra four miles back so how impressive is that you know just going further across the dashboard just for those who um remember that i said that the fridge is powered separately from the powertrain there is a, a dial here showing that that fridge is is 100 charged so we'll see that um one thing i will show it before the end there is an isolation switch for that um for that battery pack as well so when you finish in the evening or you finish you, you, you want to switch the fridge off to preserve, preserve the batteries you can actually isolate the the, the, the batteries completely and of course it, it protects from fire risk and all the rest of it and those good things that we don't want to talk about today um let's get it into into drive and let's just give this a run we're going to monitor the fridge we're going to see how far we can get and see how well it drives so we're, we're, we're well into the journey and we stand and the mileage is holding up well but we'll, we'll, we'll see how far we get on that one of the things i forgot to mention earlier was something that's you know really really important of course more important than probably anything else we're going to talk about today including range is the payload of this uh, wonderful thing you know this vehicle carries around about 700 kilos um, or so um, as a dry freight commercial vehicle however when it's been fridged out to the specification your payload drops to as low as 400 kilos of course including including fuel a driver which of course the, the electric doesn't weigh a great deal i can assure you but the the the, the conversation here is this is a electric vehicle with a range of 90 miles with a payload of 400 kilos um yes it's a refrigerated vehicle yes it's very very different it's a real quality vehicle you you have to consider the commercials in all of these aspects of what we're, we're trying to achieve with commerciality on these these topics so we're back at base and as i said on on on, on the journey you know in fairness to this this van mile for mile it's pulling out the electric every every mile it's doing it's it's, it's coming off so it's, it's sitting nicely with that for charging there's your charging port open it out and of course you've got your DC and AC charging comes with a cable you know and again standard type 2 commit type 2 connector and we'll stick it into one of our charge points here to put some some charge into it as I said though for those that, that remember what I said before was you have a cable for your fridge for your 12 volt batteries if you remember you a this will be out through someone's window, so it needs to be a proper connector. And B, you need to make sure that your charging setup is allowing you to be able to charge your fridge batteries at the same time. So it's a complication, but certainly something to think about before you go down that route. Last thing on on um, on your battery for your fridges is there uh, is an isolator. So the isolator, uh, as I mentioned it earlier on. But what this does by turning this isolator off, what it does is protects the power on here. If you leave this open. And don't and don't and don't remember and this will actually just flatten your fridge so you might end up with a going out on the day for a round with your nice uh, chilled operation and find out that uh, you've got no power for your, for your unit i have to say ran this for a few hours now um and it chills really well frozen yeah we haven't seen that yet but basically maybe it's me um but look guys um that's a quick interlude into the mercedes-benz e-sprinter frozen spec or temperature control vehicle we are telling me frozen so in the line out the back doors it's all frozen um it's a nice line out okay done a great job hubbard you know fridge works really well on chill certainly i've not seen frozen mercedes sprinter drives it amazing um another interlude over for probably high truck tv and i hope you've enjoyed a little interlude for this van we have and as always everything we do is available on contract hire from our um, pro green operation for electric and of course pro hire for diesel uh, if that's what you want world's changing very rapidly at the moment all the information is available on our website please contact us if we can do anything to help speak to you again soon guys take care